Alright fellas, well that's the uh, the Sky Raider, Sky Raider all built uh, and what have you. Uh, I just thought I'd say uh, a quick piece to camera to, to tell you how the build went and then I can show you the actual Sky Raider itself. Now the kit itself went together really really well and I mean really well, it was beautiful. Uh, some lovely detail on there uh, and what have you and yeah it, it was it was an enjoyable build. Uh, I think it's only took me two and a half weeks, all told, and that's not even working on it all the time. So you can show, tell you how much I, I have enjoyed this build. The problem came when I started working on the the decals. Now originally, I was going to go for the that scheme, which is the Thunderbolts with the B on the side or, or what have you. Now, the B one went on beautifully, went on smashing. Where I had problems was with the nose numbers. So I tried to put them on uh, using one water, so they came off the back of fairly easy, uh, but they just shattered or they broke, so they were unusual. So then I thought, well, okay then, I'll do uh, this one. The first of the fleet, because if I did uh, the Night Riders, I'd have to paint mask and paint the tail and all that sort of stuff, and I, I didn't really want to do that. I, I didn't have the colour to do it anyway, so it would have looked odd with the uh, the stripe down the middle, but I'll get to that in a minute. So I thought, yeah, okay, I'll go with that one, and yeah, I thought, well, the biggest problem I thought I might have would be with the wing numbers and again decided when I put it on uh, more when I took, it started shattering I couldn't I couldn't move it I couldn't do anything with it, it just decided it's going to disintegrate so that had to come off so that left me with a in a quandary <coughs> I thought well I can get try for the the night riders also that one with the numbers first off I thought well I'll try the big numbers they went on reasonably well apart from it, it it split but it split not on the numbers or the letters so I could move it into position so I got that into position I then did the uh, the ones on the cowling 300 there and then I went with the the band as you can just see just there now that's a, a blue and a, a gold and what have you band that goes just straight down it. Got it in place okay. A few problems. There are some if I can pick it up. Some rivets just down there, you can't really see them. That are erased, so that's not a problem. Uh, I put it on there and the rivets obviously pointed through as, you, as I was burning it down not a problem because it you know wear and tear and all that sort of stuff the other one went on same week but there were a hole in it a little bit and I let it dry and I let it dry and it wasn't quite bedding down in place so I put some micro set is it at micro sol on there and it just peeled up shattered disintegrated so it's like what my last one and I was looking around or had it some places like that for a replacement set and there's not that many out there there was one set i found uh, but at the, at the time money's really really tight so i couldn't really justify the expense uh, of going it so what i decided to do was go with just the national markings aircraft numbers uh, and what have you to so at least I've got an aircraft and it's not 100% accurate because of that but hey oh, there's nothing I can do about that so that being said I've got all that on uh, got them all bedded down with some microsol uh, cut the, the decals uh, to make them sit in the uh, the panel lines because the numbers were all one it's all like all on the carry sheet so there's no no separate numbers which has probably been better it made my life a little bit easier to put on uh, and all that sort of stuff so that was the the main numbers the num the tail numbers 
just there and the nose numbers were really really uh, a nightmare to put on after that copious amounts of aqua clear to get that nice embedded in to make it look like there's like they're not decals and i think i've done a good job it seems to have blended in really really well uh the panel i wash and then as you've seen in the video i did some uh, assault technique so what i wanted was a a, a mucky dirty bird but we we parts of wear and tear where maybe the crew come over so obviously it's, uh, it's a naval aircraft so salt's in the air and all that sort of stuff so i thought that's why i'd go that way using salt darker lighter and i think it's turned out quite well which you'll, hopefully you'll see in a minute and with the slideshow that will follow follow this and then it was on to the exhaust dining now the the sky raider's got really really distinctive uh, uh exhaust uh trails should i say or marks so my usual technique was to use i use ground up pastel for that sort of thing uh, for a lot of the second world war uh thing uh aircraft to do but i didn't feel i could do that with with this build so i used the airbrush for the first time and quite honest i don't know why i didn't do it for, uh sooner um it turned out really really well just really watered down the uh, water down thin down the paint uh i used a mixture of paints uh you know buff and browns with reds in and blacks in to give me the different tones and i did the uh, the drop tanks at the same time so they all it all blended in nicely and then it was time to add all the dangly bits and Tamiya they went on brilliantly absolutely spot on uh, would I recommend this kit yes but I'd watch out for the decals again I'd, I'd not say I didn't treat them with care I'm just saying just be careful with them they're not the not the easiest to work with anyway i'm going to swap around to the the other camera so you can get over a view and have a good look at it so see you in a minute all right fellas so here she is and she's a big bird i mean the wingspan's about 30 centimeters yeah yeah about 30 centimeters just over 35 centimeters so she's a she's a big bird so she's single engined uh <clears throat> so she took up a quite a bit of paint so i'm gonna need some more paint of this type for if i ever want to do another uh, us navy bird but i'll just tip her up so you can have a good look so there's the exhaust staining and hopefully you can see the the weathering on the wings there the way the the decals of uh really being disguised and look more natural especially on on that one i mean you can't see it but there is all around the outside of that there was a it, you know the the actual backing and the carrier same in the the zeros and on the tail as well oops sorry She's really awkward to go in because she's such a big bird. And I can't get you any higher. Okay, so we'll look on the underside. I went for a lighter wash on the underside. Uh, I did the, the red with a pen. You know, the markings on the, on the drop tanks. Uh, whether the bombs were just some oil. And yeah, so yeah, <clears throat> really, really happy how she turned out. Anyway, back to the other one in two minutes. So, fellas, there she is. Uh, would I build her again? Most definitely. I, uh, I want. I'm gonna have a look see if I can get hold of the uh, one of the uh, the SEA scheme, the free tone camo. So I think this look is so cool in the free tone camo uh, of the era. And yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed this. Anyway, I hope you like her. 
and on with the slideshow. Until the next video, guys. Bye.